Hi there lovely people, welcome back. Today I'm joined by my friend Cynthia. We're sitting on some tea and we're discussing <laughs> on how to stay healthy and snatched all year round. So Cynthia, please introduce yourself before we get started. Oh, thank you. Um, so my name is Cynthia Musafili Wright and I live in Perth. And yes, we are sitting on some tea, but not that sort of tea you're thinking about. Um, and I'm a fitness motivator, so I enjoy my fitness. Um, on the career side of things, I'm an HK clinical consultant, and I also run my own coaching business. I'm an author, a motivational speaker, and I'm a mom as well, um, which is very good and very important topic for what we're talking about today. So yeah. Oh my god, can you imagine all she wears all those hats and still manages to stay this much? <laughs> oh, I'm so so thrilled about our topic today and I think let's start and I think my first question is of course with all those hats that you wear Cynthia, how do you still manage to stay this much? We did a workout. If you haven't watched, please go watch the previous video. She's helping me get back into my you know body goals and stay snatched as well. But how do you do it? How as a person, as a person who's a mother and of course wearing so many hats as well, how can we do it together? Um, I think for me, I'll, I'll, I'll speak mainly from my experience, mm -hmm. is um, keeping it or making fitness as part of your lifestyle. And why that is important is that when, you, when it becomes part of your lifestyle, it then stops being a chore. It's, it stops being something that hovers around your head to say, I have to do a, work, a workout, I have to exercise. It's something that you have to do because it's part of your life. Think of it this way. The way that we wake up in the morning and we go, I have to have breakfast, I have to have lunch and dinner. It's the same way that we want to uh, think about our fitness as well, to make it part of your spirituality. And I think it, that has worked for me. Um, and. And adding on to that, it's something that I'm also introducing to my daughter because I get a lot of uh, new moms saying to me, but how do you manage to work out with such a young child? My daughter is 21 months and I bring her to it. So I make it fun enough for her to think we're playing. So I'm getting my workout done and she's also helping me by jumping around. <laughs> so it's not about... Um, you know, making it too complicated or making or setting goals that are unachievable. I always say, be intentional mm -hmm. about the change that you want to see in your life or, yeah. and in your body as well. Because at the end of the day, if you don't do it, no one will do it for you. Um, and being snatched, I, I, I think, is just the, mm -hmm. the, the cream on top. Yeah. The, the looking good part is the cream on top, but the most important thing is remaining healthy. Because we know the benefits of being active to our um, to our health. Yeah. So you think about the you know the addition the additional health that you're adding to your years, to your youthfulness, to your healthy glowing skin, but also just to your mental health as well. Yeah. So right. it's about making it a lifestyle. Don't complicate things. It's just a workout. <laughs> <laughs> Easier said than done. For me, I'll tell you for sure. It lingers on my head. Oh, you have to work out. You have to work out before I know it. The day is gone and I haven't done anything. But I think how you say it, just make it as part of your you know, of your routine as part of your spirituality, just do something, just get something. For me, that includes maybe taking the stairs, maybe yes. skipping the rope in the morning. Absolutely. Yeah, I can totally see where you're going with that. Yeah. Uh, so the other thing I wanted to find out is that I think from us, for most of us, we struggle with binge eating, especially mm -hmm. now it's winter in Australia. So I will tell you, I will eat for comfort and to keep myself warm do you ever struggle with that and if so how do you overcome that because i think most of us we oh tell us in the comments do you feel like you struggle with binge eating <laughs> yeah um i would say i used to but not anymore um I'll, I'll just start from the beginning. I think it all starts with your shopping list. So, you know, you, you, you're preparing to shop for your groceries um, for the week or for the month. Write what you need to buy down. I think it's all about discipline. It's all about what you, what you put in that trolley, what you put in your fridge, what you put in your pantry. Because the thing is, if it's not there, you won't eat it. 
Absolutely. <laughs> if it's not there, you won't eat it. So, so it's, it's about, again, I, I, I continue using the word intentional, being deliberate. It's about planning mm. to say, okay, I'm going to write my shopping list. This is what I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy what I need. Mm. It's about what you need, not what you want. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's where the discipline comes in. So yeah. put you know put the things that you need on your shopping list. Um, buy. There are so many yummy, extra um, healthy snacks out there that you can buy. Um, and I always think binge eating is a result of buying the wrong things and in the first place <laughs> and stress as well. Because okay, let's face it. Now they've made, they've made it even extra easy. Yeah. for us where you can just order on an app on your phone and someone delivers it to your house absolutely um, Uber Eats is a lifestyle <laughs> I know but it's also an expensive lifestyle not just expensive in terms of currency or money but it's expensive on your health yeah so every time you're ordering something that you know you don't need it's not just you spending your money out of your wallet which you can spend whichever way you want but you're also um, you know it's, it's a bill on your health so with with binge eating i always say it's, it's about discipline discipline with what you buy what you put in your pantry what you put in your in your fridge um and the reason why i don't struggle with that is because i plan my shopping list i plan what i buy and i plan what i have in my house but also to know that i'm human and sometimes I want ice cream and sometimes I, I, I want pizza. So what I do is I always reward myself. But when I reward myself, I would have earned it. Uh, so I'll give you an example. We have seven days in a week. So six days of having healthy meals. And on the seventh day, I can have a pizza. I can have ice cream because I've earned it. Cheat and day. A cheat day. Yeah. So I always say with, and, and you know how we spoke about making it a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's not about being so restrictive that you stop enjoying what you eat. Absolutely. If you're going to make it a lifestyle, you have to remain human. Mm -hmm. And being human is that sometimes you need ice cream because yeah. you are stressed. Sometimes you need a glass of wine, but you need to earn it. Okay, well said. I think, yeah, that's absolutely true because I find out most of the times when I actually meal prep, so I pretty much have my food for the week. It's harder for me to actually worry or gravitate yes. towards the, so the so-called unhealthy food. That's yeah. right. That's yeah, right. That's good. Yeah, totally makes sense. So I'm just thinking for somebody who's never exercised or dieted a day in their life. So can you just give us a few pointers on how to get started? Because for me, I'm actually taking this pretty seriously. I need to start fitting <laughs> into my work clothes, yeah. So with all the quarantine weight, how do we get started into living a healthier lifestyle? I like how, let me just underscore what you said about fitting into your work clothes. Because I always say, you know, buying a brand new wardrobe is expensive. Mm. And that's just not an option. Um, how to get started? I always say, oh, first of all, when to get started? <laughs> now start now mm -hmm. how to get started start by whatever movement that your body can take yeah you don't need i get a lot of dms on my page um health is wealth on facebook and on my instagram page your fitness but i get a lot of um dms where people ask me oh what weight should i buy i'm just getting started should i buy 20 kilos or 30 kilos i say buy what you can use comfortably and safely in a workout mm -hmm. you know like anything you don't want to throw yourself in the deep end and then try to swim to the shallow end mm -hmm. what you want to be able to do is to gradually get into it that way you're going to enjoy it more mm -hmm. um, so get started by whether you know, walking go for a walk if you've got a dog take your dogs for a walk um, or start by you know going for a run if you if, 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 if you love cardio or join your local gym if you like the community and the support because a lot of gyms now have got personal trainers mm -hmm. that are attached to that gym or find a local um, community group um, 
community groups are good because you get that support from other people yeah. but if you're the person who's shy about you know starting with other people you can start by yourself and there's so many um, people online now that can help you including myself I run a few challenges here and there mm -hmm. and it's a community of people from around the world we get together and we do a workout together online mm -hmm. um, so the secret to getting started or, or to how to get started is start that's it <laughs> it doesn't matter what you start with just start yeah. the moment you start you build up you build up yeah. there's no right way to start there's no wrong way to start you just get up and <laughs> get up and move, guys. Get up and move. Hashtag that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a hashtag. Get, get up, up and, and move. move. <laughs> okay, that's that's really good to hear. And what you said about community, absolutely. Because for me, like when we did the workout we did with you last week, mm -hmm. I hadn't moved my body yeah. since COVID started. Seriously, mm -hmm. that's why you could all see I was hardly keeping up. <laughs> you did so. She did well. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so yeah. much. I, I want you to speak about the way you've spoken about uh, for me I think working out with a friend of course yeah. community mm -hmm. online spaces could you please tell us where can we because you're really really good how can we how do we get to your Facebook page or Instagram page mm -hmm. and especially the workouts I'm sure that's something we will all be interested in yeah okay so with with the workouts I usually share my workouts uh, the workouts that I do on my Facebook page and Instagram so the Facebook page is health is wealth and we'll put some links below this video um, and then the Instagram page is your fitness bad um, so when I'm running a challenge, we've just finished a 28-day ISO active fitness challenge where we had um, people from around the world that, you know, we came together and we were all working out together, uh, which was really good for 28 days. And we also shared um, healthy recipes and um, healthy eating, shopping lists and stuff like that. So you can find me on all socials, really. And if you need some help, um, I'm always running a challenge. You can jump on and, you know, learn a few movements i always say once you learn once you do a movement three four times use it and then build up you learn two three make it into a workout so like what the like like the workout we did if yeah. you if you learn three four movements and then just repeat that and keep repeating it and then keep adding um intensifying it by adding around or adding extra time to it until you you become so good at it that you just want to do more <laughs> oh, really, really well said, Cynthia. Seriously, yeah. if that is yeah. what has made you look this form, I'm happy to look, start moving as of today. And I hope you all enjoyed that session with Cynthia. Please, please check out the description, follow her on Instagram and on Facebook for all the healthy tips and how to stay smashed all year round. Thank you so much, guys, for watching as always. And bye. Bye. Get up and move. Get up and move. <laughs> <laughs>